Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Was grace that tore my heart to fear and grace my fears relieved. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. I am Tandiwe Gaya and I've got another prophetic word to share with you today. Friends, remember that not every prophetic word is meant for you. So I encourage you to spend time with the Lord and ask Him if this word is for you. And if you do believe that it's for you, um, yeah, take it to the Lord as well and ask Him to expand on it and to give you more information. Um, yeah, so let's jump straight into the word. This is based on a dream that I had on the 16th of January. So, um, what the Lord was speaking to me about when he gave me the interpretation of this dream is that this word is for people who are who desire marriage so singles who desire marriage and for those who are married but you've had some serious difficulties you've separated from your spouse or there may have been a divorce in some cases and um, you know there's just a rift between the two of you there's a lot of issues that you're dealing with that have really caused a lot of problems in your marriage this word is for you this is for those people in that in those two categories I mentioned who have been through a wilderness experience, who have been through um, a, a healing, a time of healing where God has been able to help you through some stuff and to deal with some stuff. You've been cleansed in the blood of Jesus and you have been clothed with righteousness. So this word is for you. Um, I'd like to start by reading a scripture. It says here, this is Isaiah 61 verse 10, and I'm reading from the New Living Translation. I am overwhelmed with joy in the Lord my God, for he has dressed me with the clothing of salvation and draped me in a robe of righteousness. I am like a bridegroom dressed for his wedding or a bride with her jewels. So God says to you today that he has clothed you in righteousness. You went through a process of healing where you were cleansed by the blood of the Lamb. And God says that you are on the right track. He says that His hand is upon your situation. If you're single and you've been desiring marriage, God says that He has given it to you. It is yours for the taking. You will be married. But He's saying that you need to understand that His hand is upon it. He is the one who will make it come to pass in His way and in His timing. And for the married people as well, for those of you who have really been faithful and dedicated to the Lord and obedient and praying for your marriages and really just um, 
seeking God for some kind of resolution in your marriage God says that his hand is upon it and he will bring it together again it will be beautiful again it will be even better than it was before because you have allowed him to work with you to deal with your issues you have allowed yourself to become humble and you've allowed yourself to be exposed and to just um, deal with all those ugly things that you had on the inside of you that may have been um, a factor in in the marriage falling apart so god is saying because you 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 um you humbled yourself and you really were open to the process of healing. He's saying he's going to restore your marriage. It's already actually done. In this dream, I remember a ring being handed to me and it was put, it was in the right hand. It wasn't on the ring finger, it was in the right hand. And I said, God, what does this actually mean? And he said, it's by my power that I'm giving singles their marriages. It is by my power that I am restoring marriages. So friends, know that the Lord is working on this and don't lose hope for those of you who have been waiting for marriage for a long time. I know some people um, have been struggling with this and expected it to happen at a certain time, but God knows when you're ready and what you had to go through in order to become ready. And um, when you're ready, it's going to happen and it's going to happen for for you in such a beautiful way and you will see that it is God's hand and you will glorify him. So there's a warning as well that came with this dream. God says that you should keep this to yourself. Once he's confirmed this word for you and he's spoken it to you, God says, be silent about it because there are people in your life who don't want to see you succeed in this area. They may even be forceful in trying to get information out of you in terms of what's happening in your love life. They want to know um, why you're doing this and why you're doing that and why you're going there and oh, were you with that person or I saw you talking to your spouse or whatever. God says, watch out for people like that because they are not for you. They don't want to see you succeed in that area. And you actually just want to keep your business between yourself and the Lord and yourself and your spouse or yourself and whoever God is bringing into your life in this time until until, until God releases you to, to, to make it public in whatever way that would be. So he's saying that um, he... He wants, he's going to get the glory out of this situation. And by you keeping silent about this and allowing God to do what he's doing, he will be glorified because many of the people around you will not see this coming. In fact, they'll just, it will be such a shock to them that they will even try and retrace your steps and their steps and see where did they miss this information so friends it's important that you spend um, a lot of time praying about this conversing with god about it as opposed to talking to everyone else about it this is something that god wants you to to come directly to him about and to have conversations about he's got so much more that he wants to reveal to you and share with you about this he's going to give you insight into who you are to marry for the singles and and you know you can even bring your desires in terms of what you want to the Lord write down specifics about what you want and for those that are married or have been divorced and want to restore their marriages and have been praying about that God is saying he will give you strategies he will tell you what to do what to say how to go about um, your business in order to bring your marriage back to what to actually for it to be even better than what it was before um, a key thing that God also wants is for you to um, on top of being quiet and not speaking to everyone around you about this God says go about my business do the work that I've assigned you to do don't worry about trying to put things together and oh if I if I strategically do this then you know that guy will notice me or she will notice me God says do the work that he's assigned you to do be about his business um, carry the light that he's given you because that will, will will make you attractive to the to the person that you um are seeking to um to marry and for people that are wanting to restore their marriages god says the same thing do what he's told you to do because it's his hand it's by his hand that this will come together and it will come to pass in proverbs 17 verse 27 to 28 it says and this is the new living translation a truly wise person uses few words, 
a person with understanding is even tempered. Even fools are thought wise when they keep silent. With their mouths shut, they seem intelligent. So, friends, this is just for you to remember to keep silent about what's happening in your life, especially with regards to that area. And to apply wisdom and discernment in who you uh, speak to or um, who you engage with in whatever area of your life it may be, just in general. Excuse me, guys, uh, this coffee is good. I slept so late last night, or should I say this morning, like half past one, because of the amount of work that is just flooding my life at the moment. But I'm not complaining. I mean, I have my good friend Coffee here to help me out. So friends, God says that he has done it. It is done. In the dream, the ring was handed over and God was saying, it's done. I asked God um, to speak to me about this particular dream to kind of give me a confirmation um, of what he was saying. And he did, he did. Um, the ring that I saw in the dream, <laughs> I saw on someone's profile picture, it was the exact same ring. And I said, okay, God, okay, I hear you. This is confirmation of the word that, that you have given for me to share with, with your people. So friends, just know that it is done. It's already done. God just wants you to, to trust him. Singles, trust his timing. Married people or people that have been married that want their marriages restored, God says your marriage has already been restored. Trust his timing. It is done. God also showed me that there are that there's another group. <laughs> In this group, um, you are you desire marriage, um, or you desire for your marriage to be restored, but you still need God's covering. There's still some work that needs to happen. You still need to deal with some issues. You need to work out some some healing that needs to happen. God showed me that he still needs to um, work on you and to cover you and to help you because if you don't go through that process, you won't be ready for marriage. You won't be ready to continue with your marriage for those who are married because it will only just get worse for you. Um, if you're a single and you're in this position, God says if you enter into a marriage, you're going to have a lot of troubles. It's going to be difficult and it could end badly or it could just be a lifetime of heartache and constant fighting. So God is saying for some of you who haven't quite dealt with your issues, who haven't, who still need some work to be done, he's saying be patient and um, he's saying that he doesn't want you to go on a long process. So he's saying come with the with the spirit of humility and be open to what he's doing because he wants to help you the sooner you get on board with that the sooner you understand what he's doing for you in your life the quicker the process will be god isn't in the business of prolonging um dry seasons and wilderness seasons it's really up to us how long we're in the wilderness by how we respond to what the lord is doing um the children of israel were in that desert for what was it was it 40 years? Guys, I'm sorry, I haven't read that, that part of the Bible in a while. But they were there for a long time. And they just kept going around in circles. It was a very short journey to their promised land. But they stayed in that wilderness for a long time because they just were not getting what God was doing. They were not open to it. They were grumbling. They were complaining. They were trying to find their own way to make things happen. They wanted to go back to Egypt at some point. They didn't have faith. They didn't trust God. So God is saying, if you are open to what he's doing and you receive what he's trying to teach you and how he's trying to heal you and how he's trying to train you for the ministry of marriage, the process will be quicker. It will be a lot quicker. So friends, there are some of you who are not ready for marriage. There's some of you who are not ready to have your marriage restored yet because God still needs to do some work in you. He needs to cover you and he needs to work in you and get you ready for the blessing and the ministry of marriage. So hang in there, my friends. It's not bad news. It's good news because you're going to get such, um, such beautiful gems. It's going to be such a beautiful experience 
when God starts to deal with all those things, it can be painful because you're dealing with traumas, you're dealing with some heart-wrenching stuff, but it's liberating and it's so freeing and it just brings you into deeper relationship with the Lord, which is better than anything that you could ever ask for. Okay, my friends, so I encourage you to trust the Lord and to ask Him if that, if this section of the Word is for you, to pray about it and to ask Him to help you get through the process um, in the best way that you possibly can. The scripture that I have, the last scripture that I have, oh, last two scriptures that I have um, are from, okay, the first one is from Proverbs 2 verse 11. Wise choices will watch over you. Understanding will keep you safe. So make the wise choice of allowing God to do what he needs to do for you. Make the wise choice of being obedient and faithful in this time of him pruning you and covering you and um, cleansing you in the blood of the Lamb. In Psalm 5 verse 11 it says, But let all who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them sing joyful praises forever. Spread your protection over them, that all who love your name may be filled with joy. Friends, that is the word that I have for you today. I really hope that it's blessed you. For those that are desiring marriage, it's there. God has done it. He's handed it over. It's a done deal. It's up to you to receive it. It's up to you to trust him that he will bring it together to believe and really trust that he will make it come to pass for you. For those who are desiring for their marriages to be restored, God says it is done. His hand is upon it. And in his timing it will all come together he's worked on you he's been working on your spouse and he's going to bring it all together beautifully my friend so be encouraged don't lose hope keep trusting god and um ask god to confirm this word because it's not for everyone it's for the people that god intends it to be for so ask him for confirmation and for some of you this word is confirmation of something that he has already told you which is absolutely awesome and i'm excited for you and happy for you and if i could make it to all your weddings i would do it <laughs> um but i hope that you would share some of those beautiful pictures and memories with me um when it happens for you my friends so friends be blessed um Again, just um, I haven't mentioned this in the last couple of videos. For those of you sending emails, please note that I am reading every single email. I do not have the capacity to respond to each one, even more so now. Things have become so much more intense. Hence, I'm finding myself sleeping at half past one, half past two most days because of just the amount of work that I'm finding myself doing. Um, and also being a single mom, so I always have to be, be prepared for the kids and the stuff that I do with them every day. So know that I read every email and I pray over each one. And um, when God leads me to respond to any one, I do respond as God leads me. Also, I don't really give, like I don't offer the service, I'll call it that. Even though it just feels weird saying it like that. I don't offer the service of... Um, giving individual prophetic words because I, I, I believe if God gives me a word, he's going to give me a word and I can pass it on. If he doesn't, I'm not going to like try and look for it. Um, I only give individual words if the Lord gives it. Like That's just how prophecy works. So, um, and I know that some of you do seek guidance and maybe like a bit of um, help in terms of what's happening in your life and if the Lord leads me to respond with anything I will but otherwise friends I encourage you to listen out to what God is saying to you personally to get into deep relationship and let him speak directly to you because there's nothing more exciting and more wonderful and more fulfilling than hearing the Lord speak to you directly okay so friends this is the end of the video i love you guys i thank you for all the wonderful comments i know i have a lot of catching up to do with replying to comments i love to read all the comments and i love to respond and um just let you know that i've read it so i'm gonna work on that um yeah so remember my awesome friends that you serve a good wonderful loving father and you are so special to him There's no shadow.